Hello there everyone, this is Mr. Brass, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Greek gods of the Earth. The immortal gods, for the most part, were quite often very unuseful to humans at the very best, and harmful to humans at the worst. Ares and Athena would create wars, and Hera would perform numerous acts of injustice whenever she was in a jealous rage. Demeter and Dionysus were considered mankind's best friends, with Demeter being the goddess of the corn, and Dionysus the god of the vine. These tasks were given to women, namely because of the culture of the day. Men would hunt and women would reap the fields. Demeter's chief festival was at the harvest time and it happened once every five years and lasted for nine days. Businesses would close down, songs and dance would occur with, along with sacrifices. A well-known story is the one with Demeter and Hades and how they went head to head. Demeter's daughter Persephone was kidnapped by Hades and in her grief Demeter withheld her powers of the field, thus turning fields into a desert land. She discovered herself as an old woman on earth, she would nurse the son of Celsius, Damophone, where she would anoint him with ambrosia and place him in a fire, trying to give him immortal youth. But that would not be the end, and instead the child would just get a very honor-filled life, and would have a temple built of her so she could wallow in her anger and grief at not seeing her daughter. Zeus would eventually step in and try to get Demeter to do her job, and due to Hades' slick mind, Persephone couldn't escape him forever, but a deal was reached with him where Persephone would be allowed to see her mom every spring. These arrangements led to what we call the creation of the seasons. Dionysus would be worshipped alongside Demeter. Dionysus' festival was associated with the grape harvest, which led to the grapes being brought to the wine press. Both Demeter and Dionysus were known for their grief, as they were seen as being depressed when the fields came in. Dionysus was the son of Zeus and Thebian princess named Semele. Zeus got her pregnant and swore a sacred oath to give her whatever she wanted. Hera found out and made her wish to see Zeus in all of his glory, and once he did, she died. Zeus would snatch the child still inside of her before then, and would put the child in his own side away from Hera until it was time for it to be born, and then gave him up to the nymphs of Nicaea. Dionysus was born of fire and cared for by rain, which reflects how heat ripens grapes and wa water keeps it alive. Alive. Dionysus would grow up and teach men of grapes and was considered a god. He would go on many adventures, one where he got kidnapped by sailors and he ended up filling their ships with vines. He would turn himself into a lion to scare them off the boat and turn the sailors into dolphins. Another is he would get insulted by Lycurgus, a king of Greece, but Zeus would have his back and make Lycurgus blind and die. He would travel to the underworld and help free his mom from death and have her become one with the gods. Dionysus would, like the other gods, have his flaws and came from the fact that wine can be good or bad depending on who drinks it. His worship included savage brutality, showing how wine can make men crazy. He was known for being man's blessing and man's disaster. The worst thing he arguably did was in his encounter with the king Pentheus of Thebes. Pentheus did not believe Dionysus to be a god and imprisoned Dionysus. Dionysus, in response, would turn the Thebian women, including Pentheus, his mother and sisters, and he would turn them insane against Pentheus as he was trying to pursue Dionysus' followers and would have them kill Pentheus. Dionysus was well loved and people considered being able to drink wine as a way of being like him. Like other natural gods, Dionysus died and rose again as the seasons did in a way similar to the vine, aka getting torn to pieces. His death and being brought back to life also symbolized how the soul lives on after death. Well, that is all for today. This this is Mr. Brass saying goodbye and get wise.